Hello traders, hello everyone, my name is Grega Horat and welcome to our new analysis surfing the Elliott Waves where I will look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. So I will look at the Euro Aussie dollar versus Chinese yuan, dollar yen, S&P 500, crude oil and dollar knock. Now Euro dollar is coming to the upside since last week as ECB was much more hawkish as the Fed as you know. Um, the Fed has decided to be on pause, but who knows, maybe speculators see this as a stop of the hiking pause, uh, hiking cycle rather than just a pause. Uh, so ECB obviously is much more uh, hawkish and we also, because they raised rates last week, and we also have a new comments uh, coming out from the ECB uh, this morning, uh, suggesting that there should be even more done to fight the inflation. Uh, so looking at the euro dollar pair, well, we are coming very nicely to the upside. It looks like a very strong move here and rise away from this uh, June lows. So in my opinion, this could even be an extended third wave in progress. So much more gains can be seen after the next pullback or after the current one. Also, alternatively, this can be a triangle as well. If we uh, consider that this could be maybe some sharp wave D rally and then more gains could follow after a wave E. So no matter how I look at this whole structure, uh, I think that this move since start of the year is corrective and that sooner or later we will see a new highs of the year. Looking again here on a maybe slightly bigger picture, uh, let me just delete some of those remarks here. And you can see that clearly we are going down for a consolidation here. And but because of these five waves up from start um, from end of September of 2022, I think that more upside here is going to be in the cards for this year still. Now let's take a look on the Aussie. Aussie is coming very nicely to the upside in the last month or so. We are seeing this broken trend line after previously uh, completed three waves down. So I think that more gains could be seen, but of course nothing moves in straight line. We are seeing some failure breaks here above that uh, 60, uh, 68 resistance area. We are coming very nicely back to the downside. So I think that there is a new correction going on now. Ideally, it's still an ABC drop, so 38.2%. That's going to be the first support, but the deeper one that maybe we should also pay attention on is going to be around 6630, where you have this 61.8%. More importantly, that's only one lag from the highs, but to complete this correction, you need three subwaves, like an ABC, because I think that this first leg is now completed since this move broke this trend line quite aggressively. Also, whenever it comes to Aussie, keep in mind that we should track Chinese yuan as well. And People Bank of China, as you know, they lowered the rates to support their economy this week, uh, the lending rates. And obviously, um, this has some weight, bearish weight on the Aussie in general. Um, so looking at uh, dollar Chinese yuan, it's not surprised that after this um, decision by China, the this market, this currency pair, uh, dollar versus Chinese yuan, is coming to the upside, threatening this 78.6% near this upper channel uh, channel line. So still, it could be the limited upside, but because this currency pair uh, um, is still rising, I think that there is room for this pullback to complete an ABC retracement on Aussie, as is discussed earlier. So I think that the resistance is not far away but uh, also the same with the support on Azi, but we are not there yet. But it can be very interesting to see what uh, will happen later this week, maybe on the next uh, week, especially if, if stocks will uh, start again to resume this risk on moves because stocks are also in a pullback mode. Um, now let's take a look on the dollar yen. Now dollar yen here is coming uh, still in this very nice potential technical resistance close to 61.8%. You also have this, um, this swing high back from November. So pretty aggressive and important uh, level up here. And I think that uh, we could see more weakness here uh, because if you look, if you look here on the four hour time frame, you can actually count five waves up within this third leg of recovery. So I'm looking this to be wave A, 
wave B and wave C. Finally, I could this counter trend movement. So as I said, we are at the 61.8% and also we are at the 138.2% extension of wave wave A. So I think that's a pretty significant level here, important resistance. And because we have this also five waves up with the current fifth wave coming out of this triangle, that's why I think that this could be the final lag within this current higher degree structure when looking back at the subways for March levels. So watch out for potential failure up here. If we really are going to see a reversal, let's say something like this, and to see five wave drop from that highs on the intraday basis, then we know that market will most likely continue even lower. Now let's take a look on the S&P 500. This market appears to be bullish. Now VIX known as a fear index, index is still at these extremes. So we should be aware of some pullbacks, uh, but even if the next one or the current one will be deeper, I think that there can be some support around 43.30 area, maybe even slightly lower. Uh, but generally speaking, I assume that this market could be headed higher after the retracement. Now looking at the four hour time frame chart and trying to focus more on the short term structures, notice that lag recovery here from um, May 24th is not in five waves yet. Okay, We are seeing some nice push to the upside, but notice that we have this also five subways within this extended wave free the stop that stopped at these fib levels so we are now pulling the prices a little bit back um trying to stabilize here but i think that this is just another way for before this market makes another push to the upside so maybe after this new high we will see the higher degree correction so for now that's still an uptrend in progress and in my opinion uh it should be bullish trend as long we are trading here above that uh, let me check a little bit levels here is the first one 4340 that we should keep an eye on and then 4280 so as long we are trading above that level this cycle the bullish one from may levels is still in the cards now let's take a look on the crude oil so crude oil is trying to stabilize here uh, we are seeing uh, prices that uh, or bulls that once again came up from that very strong key support level for this year, uh, just slightly above $60 per barrel. So that's definitely a very important key level. And I think that could prices come a little bit higher, especially if we can manage to see uh, this broken uh, trend line resistance. So watch out of this downward channel. So if that happens, then I think that higher degree wave B will be confirmed and that we could rally even towards 83, if not higher. Uh, what I really like so far about the crude oil is that we are seeing a potentially uh, even an expanding triangle here. It could be the bullish one because we have seen a very nice spike here to a new low of, to, of this year and then recovered with five waves. Okay, so that was the five wave recovery. And then we were just chopping around. You can clearly see that we have seen a few failures to the upside and then to the downside but market was able to stay above that spike high. So as long as we are above that level, I think that there is actually a chance that market will continue higher in the near term. Looking um, at this price action from an Elliott wave perspective, this could be a triangle expanding one in a wave B. So ideally wave C will still show up with a similar price action compared to wave A. Okay, so watch out for more upside until we, did, until we see these five waves up. If suddenly, let's say, 67 is again broken then i think uh, that this picture of course should be adjusted and at the same time it will be important to see where the us dollar will be trading we know that us dollar is currently trading lower uh, so if that will be still the case the case in the next uh, few days few weeks uh, then i think that crude oil will stay supported here and with bearish uh, us dollar across the board and uh, potentially crude oil staying above $67 per barrel. I think that um, dollar knock is pretty interesting. Notice that for more weakness, because we have here these five waves down, okay, and now we are just slowing down for this corrective phase. So watch out again for an ABC uh, rally to stop around maybe 10.80, maybe around 11 as a potential resistance from where I would be looking for further decline here as long the market is trading below this my may highs uh, also looking at the daily chart 
we have a pretty nice clear file waves up here that can be finished now because that was a failure break to a new high we stopped at that area we are coming very sharply aggressively back to the downside so i think that this lower um, trend line support could actually be broken with this clear break channel okay traders thank you very much for your attention i hope that you enjoyed this video and again talk to you next week bye